thank you so much for all your questions. They help us keep talking to you and we are very, very grateful. So this question is from a lady. She says she's five weeks pregnant and she is recess negative. Uh, so she wants us to tell her how to manage this. First, let me explain what recess negative means. Now, your blood group is in two ways. So you're either blood group a letter and blood group negative or positive. So if your blood group is B, you have, you're always told by your doctor that you're either B positive or B negative. So the positive negative is what we call the recess. Now that's just a way your body or your blood components um, are arranged. So that's, that's what recess is. Now, when it comes to pregnancy, it's only a concern when the mom is negative and the dad is positive. So if you're recess negative, the first thing you want to do is check what your spouse's, partner's blood group is. If it's also negative, then you're okay because that means your baby will also have a recess negative because it's passed to the baby. But if your mom, if you as a mom are recess negative and your husband is recess positive, that means your baby could be either or, positive or negative. Now, how does it affect pregnancy? If a mom is negative and the baby ends up getting the positive recess, they, there could be some exchange of blood at birth that gives mom some positive from the baby. But remember the mom is negative. So the positive from the baby makes her create antibodies against the positive. Yeah, so that next time she gets pregnant, her body has antibodies against the positive. So if her baby ends up being positive, her body could fight the baby as an, a, you know, something that's not needed in the body and that can cause a miscarriage. So the reason why we take care of uh, recess factors in pregnancy is because one, we are protecting the mom from creating antibodies against the positive recess for her next pregnancy. So mom, you're five weeks, it's still a bit early. So what happens? There are two ways of dealing with this. You could either get a job that helps you not form those antibodies and you get that at 28 weeks. We call it the anti-D. It's just to prevent you from forming the antibodies. So you get it at 28 weeks and you're good to go. Meaning you, whether your baby is positive, if your baby is positive, then you won't form any antibodies. The other way to deal with it is wait till your baby is born and as soon as your baby is born, get their blood checked. If the recess is negative, then you don't need a jab. But if the recess is positive, then you can get that jab, but you have to get it within 72 hours of birth. So that's what it is. A bit complex, but in essence, all you have to do is make sure that you keep following up with your clinics so that uh, they can keep checking on you. And at 28 weeks, you could have the option of getting the injection or you can have your baby's blood tested soon after the birth. And if there is need, get the injection given only and always to protect you from forming antibodies that will affect your next pregnancy. Thank you for your question. We really appreciate and please subscribe to our channel. The next question is on placenta previa. What is placenta previa and how do I manage it? <music>